We got uh, uh, Richard Liu here. Uh, how are you doing? Good. Good to see you, Chris. Yeah. yeah. And then we have, uh, uh, I think it's five five of your documentaries for the Sky Blossom that we're going to be screening. That is and, awesome, and thanks for doing that. Yeah, they were great. We like as we were watching them, we we're like, uh, "What do we do?" There's like so many good ones, and like you, you can't really <laughs> decipher which is you can't be like, "Well, this is better than this." They're all like similar in their own way and very yeah. powerful. Yeah, now you know what I, it was like. The, the same way for me, it's like you know, uh, your four children, and you're like, "Okay, so what? What? Which one is?" They're all different stories as you can tell Chris is that what you're saying yeah. but they're they're similar at the same time yeah and sorry absolutely. for all this this stuff behind me I'm at work today oh that's great yeah yeah so, yes yeah, so it's just uh how did you go how did you get involved with doing this yeah you know it started with me um about six seven years ago um my dad I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's so I changed my schedule to work part-time mm -hmm. uh so I could fly back to California because I'm in New York not too far from where you're at Okay. And so I've been flying back like uh, maybe two, three times a month to take care of my dad. And, oh, wow. um, you know, it was great that, you know, my work was allowed me to do that. Yeah. Um, of course, that's not the best for your career, but that's what you do because, uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, it's the right thing. So that started like six years of caregiving. And then I started to, to you know, speak on caregiving for like the ARP and Alzheimer's Association. And then the, the Hidden Heroes campaign came around uh, with Elizabeth Dole. And she's like, hey, you know, we're launching this new campaign uh, with Tom Hanks as the campaign chair. And we're trying to bring more attention to the need to uh, look at caregivers in military families because there's like 5.5 million caregivers uh, caring for our, our military uh, 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 service members, whether they're mm -hmm. veterans or currently still in service. Wow. Um, and so that started my my, my journey, and, and that's what ended up with Sky Blossom, which um, I can describe the the name of it, why I selected the name a little bit later. But oh, yeah. that started Sky Blossom. We start with the four shorts, and then we have a feature film coming out in November. And that's that's what happened. Oh, wow. Are, are, the, are these the shorts part of that feature, or is it a completely different? Yeah, the feature will put together uh, five to seven families. Um, and what we submitted to Hang On To Your Shorts were four of the shorts. Yeah. Uh, and the reason why we did that, Chris, is I, I really wanted to look at what each family did uniquely, right? Because every time I interviewed, and, and, and as you know, it focuses on teen and 20-something caregivers, right? It's all that our, our heroes and our protagonists in the documentary shorts are the teens and 20-something because they're doing something amazing, right? They're just brings you, brings me to tears every time I, I see it, even though I've seen it for three years now. Um and so, yeah, th those are the four shorts. That's that's how we focused on them. And we, we by taking the, the the individual story, we were able to understand how to fit them up into the feature. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And on top of that, Chris, it was a way to me to stay committed because I, I promised every family I would tell their unique story. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that was the way I could do it, right? By, by doing the short, I, I followed through with my commitment. I was doing it for them, and I would tell their complete story. Yeah. And it was, uh, it, it was, they're both, they're all of them were so amazing. And just, you get like sucked in and I was like, how can yeah. we show this? And uh, what, we, <laughs> what we originally wanted to do, we had, uh, um, you know, cause we, we have uh, the theaters and we play it all weekend long with people coming in and buying tickets. So I actually, I, I think this might even be better for that because more people will get to watch it online for free. Yeah. It's, yeah. And it's, 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 it's inspiring to me uh, that the families were so open. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not easy to talk about life and death and and, and pain and laughter. I mean, yeah. the whole purpose of this is is to find the joy amidst the difficulty. Um, they they laugh and you, there's some things out. You know, like one one wife pinching her husband's butt on camera because that's the way they laugh. That's what they yeah. do. They live. But he could die any time. You know, because mm -hmm. of his affliction. And, and it's to me, it, it was inspiring, personally. So. You said you did a feature. Are you going to continue doing more stories like this? Yeah, and we were just discussing that with the team, and you know, it's a it's a non non profit non effort, um, as most of us, you know, as, as most of us in the in the biz are, right? You know, the yeah. script. Yeah, I know you're 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 rolling in the dough, right? <laughs> Hang on to your short. <laughs> you do it because you love film, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, so we're going to release the four shorts. Um, publicly in January. Uh, the, the feature will come out in November. And then we'll have another uh, Sky Blossom 2 feature film oh. in November 2021. Again, you, you know why we're picking November. It's National Family Caregivers Month. It is Veterans Day month as well. Oh. And 
they overlap quite nicely. And, uh, you know, there's 53 million Americans caring for somebody in their family. Yeah. And it's really important that we, we stay putting these sorts of heroic families up on the screen. And, and so that's what I committed to each and every family. I said, you're going to get up on the silver screen and we're going to do it. And actually yeah. the, the, the feature will be Oscars qualifying um, and will be shown in Los Angeles in November. Oh, wow. And so uh, it, that's the, the beginning of a long journey. Absolutely. So yeah, you, you were traveling all over the country to these families? Yeah, yeah, we were because um, there were we, we started with filming eight families and we would spend three or four days each trip and we would visit every family at least two times. Yeah. And uh, as you know, because you have viewed them all, we, we hit you know, Alaska. We hit uh, the Pacific Islands, uh, Hawaii. We hit um, the, the West Coast. We hit the Midwest, the Mid South. Yeah. yeah, we also hit. Now the Midwest, um, that one I don't think we submitted to because that no. was not done no. yet. Okay. That was that was not done yet. But um, we yeah, we hit every region of the country. And the oh. purpose, as you know, Chris, as we go through this debate about how we're different, was to show that yeah, we could be different parts of the, of the country. Um, um, but when you see the, their stories, you'll see that they're different. Yeah. But you also know they're all the same, and and that they care for their family. Uh, these kids, these 20, I call them kids. I can, I'm old enough, right? <laughs> the 20 somethings and these teens get up every day and they, they quietly think of how do they care for their, their parent who is, has a, an ailment because of serving our country. And that, it really brings them all together. I, 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 we, I purposely did select families from all over the country to show that we are all the same. For, for, for your, for your feature, do you have, uh, I guess, um, someone, uh, doing the voiceover, um, that connects them all sort of, or, um, you know, that was tempting, um, Chris, and, and we debated that. And as you know, if you're, if you're going to go for Oscars qualification, you really want to keep it nice and clean. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, um, we did not have any, um, narration and we, uh, we were also filming me along the way over the last three years as I've been caring for my father Yeah. and we removed me out of the edit as well. Oh, okay. because it was just too much. And, and if you're going to go for, like, you know, the, the, the pure whatever that might mean. And I'm a first time filmmaker, so I'm, I'm sorry if I'm using the wrong language. Um, you don't you don't include the, the, the storyteller in the film. Right. You, you, you just have the, the subject matter. So we pulled me out um, pretty early, uh, although we still have that tape and we might include it for Sky Blossom, too, which will be mm -hmm. a, a more it'd be a different sort of film. No, that's great that you can, you're going to continue and keep doing it. Yeah. No, there's the crew, and I wish they could have made it. Uh, Miel, it was our lead sound engineer in the field. And she kept on saying when we were over the last three years, we, we'd finished filming a family. And she'd go, Richard, you can't stop this. We got to keep on going. We have There's more stories to tell. We have to follow them for like, you know, like 60 minutes. We have to follow them for like 20 years. You know, I was like, <laughs> well, if we can get the donations, we'll do it. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah. and uh, and you're able to and you're able to go and do this and film and then in your your job as well and work well uh, yeah because it's a lot it what you do you do a lot <laughs> oh brother it is it is and it, it is be, by the grace of uh, my company that i was able to fly to care for my father and then in, along the way we would stop and film these and then i'd continue on my journey whether it was to california or back to new york to work and so on the weekends on on holidays like this i I'll be here, um, but typically two and a half days at 30 Rock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you were West Coast or the, I didn't even know where you were broadcasting from half the time. But when you watch the news, you're like, oh, where, where are they? What, what studio are they at? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at. I, I'm, I'm curious. Before we all had to stay home for the last five months, you know, I didn't know which way was up. You know, was, <laughs> I, I could be in any time zone, any part of the country or world, depending on what, what we were filming. Um, but yeah, I mean, just it, it's strangely, and, and, and we look for silver linings, right, Chris, is that um, we were able to, uh, initially we were going to have our premiere in April. Yeah. And um, because of the situation we're in, we had to cancel it, clearly. And it was yeah. going to, you know, we had our Hollywood premiere. And we had, but mm -hmm. what's been great is we've been able to, you know, submit to uh, fairs like yours and festivals like yours to, to be part of that, that sort of long conversation. Yeah. We've been able to invest time in editing the feature before we're going to have, we were going to have to come out in um, again, April. 
So it's been an, the silver lining has been able to, you know, really uh, sit with it. As a news person, I'm not used to that. I'm used to like really fast movement. Yeah. And so that's why we were going to skip a lot of the festivals and a lot of the um, process that is typical for most independent films. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and especially now because of all this, it, you know, you got yeah. kind of have to now, right? It's, uh, oh, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't good. know when they're going to start coming back, but. Yeah, we'll no, it's, as you know, it's been so tough for all the other folks in this space. And I, I do, you know, I was worried about my crew and, you know, and, yeah. you know, I we had just finished. We only had to cancel our finale shoot, um, but everything else we had finished over the three years, right? We were actually, we were, our last shoot was going to be March. 20th in DC at Walter Reed. Oh. Um, and that was the only one we had to cancel, but it was the biggest one. Like we, yeah. we, we had a hel helicopter. <laughs> we had, you know, several singers coming in that were, that sing about um, caregiving. Um, we had to cancel it, but I, look, I know it's a lot worse for a lot of other folks. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, um, and do you have anything else that you want to uh, talk about, about the, the documentaries at all? You know, one of the thing is is the name. Um, it's it's a interesting name, Sky Blossom. Yeah. And uh, the reason why we selected that is during World War II. You know, is when we first had wide use of uh, planes uh, in conflict, right? So we had paratroopers in the 82nd Airborne. They were created, right, and so they could yeah. swoop in and um, help help our troops who were you know on the front lines if they were struggling, if they were injured, or they need more backup. And what the troops on the ground would do is they'd look up and they'd see the 82nd Airborne come in and they'd be jumping out of the planes and you'd see the parachutes pop open. Hmm. And the folks on the ground, the troops on the ground go, here come the sky blossoms. Oh, wow. And so that's what these kids are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, you know, they're, they're, they're not only blooming as, as people, but caregivers. Yeah, absolutely. And really, really amazing folks. So we selected that name because I think it was very symbolic of, of what they're doing. And they do it with, you know, with quiet zeal. And they do it because that, that they just that's the only thing they know. And, you know, there's so many things. And you know this because you do a great job of teaching and giving back and reaching back with hang on to your shorts. You know, I, I was looking at how you do that with high school filmmakers, and college filmmakers. And that, yeah. is, that is so important. So I, I, I applaud what you and your partners have been doing. And I that's also, my, I yeah. also teach, I also teach in high school TV films. So it, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's great. Yeah. So that's so, awesome. Chris, I got, that's great I got that. Idea. I taught, I taught history for years and I, I was kind of leaving teaching I, and I couldn't get back. And, you know, I had the background in film and TV and uh, it just kind of fell into it in the last four years I've been teaching in high school. Uh, you are the man. And, and, and you are creating that generation of, of filmmakers in the future. You're inspiring them. And that's 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 so important. And, and, and as you know, many folks will too simply say, oh, you know, high schoolers and college agers and, you know, 20 somethings and teens. They don't all they do is care about themselves or living through this sort of me as. And I got to tell you. You look at these cats in, in, in the, that I got to, that they open their the hearts in their home to me. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Hang on a second. This is the next greatest generation to me. This is the next greatest generation because they are exhibiting so much courage quietly uh, and, and care for their fellow human being. I, I feel, and, and, and you know this, Chris, because you're a teacher, yeah. that you got, you, unless you're doing what you're doing, Chris, and my mom was a school teacher too, so hats mm -hmm. off to you. <laughs> then you don't you don't know that, that it's it's so inspiring. It's easy to make all these comments, but in any case, yeah, um, th that's why we call it Sky Blossom. Oh, great. Well, uh, you know, thanks for a few minutes uh, 